Indigenous Peoples of North America. How did indigenous groups adapt to their environment? Introduction. As a cold winter wind howls outside, the children huddle under thick fur blankets. They listen to their grandmother's soothing voice tell about a great spirit who ruled over a world of sky and water at the beginning of time. Then the great spirit, says grandmother, created land, plants, and animals. Finally, from living wood, the great spirit carved people for the new world. Children of the Abenaki, a Bunna Ki tribe in what is now called New England are learning a traditional story about how their people began. An important element of this origin story is the people's land. Many contemporary indigenous people, like the Abenaki people, know approximately where their ancestors lived 10,000 years ago. For example, members of the Elnu Abenaki tribe lived in southern Vermont. In contrast, European colonization of the Americas is somewhat recent in terms of indigenous history, having begun only 500 years ago. For thousands of years, indigenous groups traded with each other and cultivated the land. In this lesson, you will learn about these resourceful people and the creative ways they adapted to their environments. There are many sources of information about the lives of indigenous groups. Researchers can study items they left behind, which give us important hints about their complex cultures. These items include animal and human bones, some stone and metal tools, and bits of pottery. Indigenous people have also preserved stories about how their tribes lived. Indigenous scholars, scientists, and leaders sometimes draw conclusions that differ from other scientists' interpretations. In your lifetime, we will probably learn much more about how indigenous groups adapted to their environments. Indigenous knowledge, combined with scientific knowledge, continually leads us to revise many of our previous conclusions.